Hi, and welcome to a short overview what Meeting C++ is about. So you probably know that Meeting C++ is a conference, um, which is once a year. But actually, Meeting C++ started with my own user group in Düsseldorf in 2011. And so one of the very important things for Meeting C++ is the user groups and the conference. Then it's also about spreading C++ related news and content. And for this, I also have my own blog on meeting C++ and the recently launched C++ recruiting service um, at meeting C++. This, um, so those five things are the, the main pillars of meeting C++. So the conference this once a year. It has this year four, uh, four tracks with seven talks each. It will have again two keynotes. There will be a student program and a workshop day before the conference, most likely that's currently in the planning. But as I told you, it's not only about the conference, it's also about the C++ community and there um, it's about the C++ user groups and um, this is how it was in 2011 when I started. Um, there was already an active user group in Oslo and my own user group in Düsseldorf, which is now active since December 2011. And this is the current map of active user groups I know of in 2015. So for new user groups and also, also if you already have an existing user group, there is a planning session once a month on the third Thursday at 17 CET, uh, that's the Berlin time, at meeting CPP in Freenode. And uh, this is about one hour and then we chat for the, for, for oft, often for the whole evening. So um, if you want to join us there in the chat, that's always a good thing to start and get connected with the C++ community. So, but it's also about uh, the news and content about C++, you know, and um, so I try to spread news from blogs, libraries, conferences, and user groups. And some of the conference and some of the user group meetings I even attend for this. Um, I spread my, con my C++ related content and other C++ related content over the social networks. Um, so you can follow Meeting C++ on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, there's a LinkedIn page now, uh, YouTube, Xing, and also Plurk. And of course, there's a meeting C++ blog, which I try to block like once a month, um, sometimes more about C++. And just short word on the outreach, which meeting C++ has created. So um, the website had last year 200,000 visitors and 2014. And as you see on the graph, um, this has gone up quite a bit since 2012, 2013 and last year. And the social media reach currently is almost at 14,000 and will be soon above 14,000. It currently has a growth of more than 100. And if I count YouTube and it's more than 200. And the social media grows from last year um, with Twitter, Google Plus and Facebook until the conference. This is not the whole year, it's just before the conference started. Um, this is a graph, so the growth in social media for this topic is pretty impressive. So, and there we are already at the Meeting C++ recruiting service. It was launched in the beginning of 2015. And the Meeting C++ recruiting service is made up of two components. Um, one is the C++ employer listing, which is shown in the job section. And the other one is the recruiting service itself, um, where the CVs, which you are sending to me, are get forwarded to the listed companies. And um, the second part is optional. Either you can just choose to be listed or also to receive uh, the CVs, which are getting sent from the community to me, and I then forward them. and. Let's have a look at this process. So we have a candidate which sends 
the CV to meeting C++. I forward the CVs to the employer listing and the companies which are interested will contact the candidate. And of course, you also can take a look in the employer listing and contact the companies which are interesting for you. Which brings me to the last slides. Um, so in case you want to support me, there are several choices or abilities to support me. Um, the conference is still the, the most important thing for me, for my work. Um, it gives me the funding to do everything else. So if you want to support me, think about visiting the conference or maybe even speaking at the conference. And beyond that, there's Amazon. Um, on my webpage, you find a link to Amazon and every book or anything else you buy over this link will give me a little bit of money from Amazon. It's not a lot, but it helps a little bit, you know. And of course, there's YouTube and I have a little bit of ads running on YouTube. It doesn't make me a lot of money. I'm trying to kind of get a bit of uh, the funding for the video recording through this. And also, of course, there's the social media. Share the lovely content which I share with you there. Um, retweet, faff, and you know, like, etc. on Facebook, Google Plus, or wherever you are following me. And of course, it's also possible to support me uh, through your company. So first of all, I would like to support you if you have open positions. So if you have a job posting, which should be on Meeting C++, just contact me and I will post it there. It's free of charge. Um, you also can think about sponsoring the conference. And of course, you also could join the Meeting C++ recruiting program. So, and Supporting C++ and building a network and community for C++ in Europe, but also worldwide is one of my main goals with Meeting C++. And what you can do, of course, you could start your own blog. You could start your own user group if there's not already an active user group in your area. And with both of those things, I'm gladly to support you with the Meeting C++ network. And in case you have any questions, Feel free to contact me on Twitter at MeetingCPP, um, also the other social media, email, or maybe on Freenode in the MeetingCPP channel. And thank you for watching.